<laughs> yeah, of course he put that sign up. Look at his hair, man. Oh my god. Frankie! Super! <laughs> Um, this is a Japan. really funny drama that I've been following because it's my pet project. I love following what's going on in Japan. China has been accusing Japan of arbitrarily dumping nuclear contaminated Fukushima water. I don't know why China has like decided to say this. It has caused a major commotion. Uh, apparently, like Chinese people keep calling Japanese stores, like phone bombing Japanese stores and like complaining to them. But it's also funny because, like, no, it, it's funny. People are so mad. But as far as I understand, like, <laughs> as far as I understand it, first of all, it would literally also, there is already, uh, a, like, toxic waste. Okay? There is already <laughs> nuclear uh, contamination from Fukushima. But the irony is, from what I understand... Well, one, it fucks up Japan, too, which it would. But two, from what I understand, nuclear waste in China also gets dumped in the ocean. <laughs> so, like, like, that's just what nuclear plants do. They just, they're like the ocean, massive body of water. What's it going to do? It's, it'll be fine. <laughs> so now... So now everyone's mad at each other and they're and they're freaking out. And is to go ahead with the release of treated water from the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant into the Pacific. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida said the discharge should begin on Thursday, despite opposition from fishermen and neighboring China. The ocean belongs to all mankind. It's not a place for Japan to arbitrarily dump nuclear contaminated water. China strongly urges Japan to correct its error, revoke its plan to discharge radioactive water into the sea, communicate with neighboring countries in good faith, handle the radioactive water responsibly, and accept strict international supervision. China will take all necessary measures to safeguard the marine environment, food safety, and public health. Well, to get more reaction from China now, let's bring in France 24's Beijing correspondent, Yenna Li. Yenna, what more can you tell us? Okay, to be fair, new Godzilla. Okay? Maybe not the worst thing, right? Think about it. Godzilla, not an alien, comes from the water. Think about it. All the radiation in the water, Godzilla too. Now, we know from Godzilla 1, that shit's not going to hit mainland China. Shit's not going to hit Taiwan. It's going to hit Japan. So, just let it happen, is what I would say. Well, from the start of this uh, controversy, Beijing had been staunchly opposed to Tokyo's plans, with Chinese officials calling it uh, selfish and arrogant. Here, uh, food imports from around 10 Japanese prefectures have been more or less banned since the original nuclear disaster back in 2011. And as Tokyo had been fine-tuning its plans, Beijing strengthened those import controls this summer with, for example, radiation testing on seafood imports. And the situation is similar in Hong Kong. As previously promised, uh, Chief Executive John Lee slapped new controls on food imports just after Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida made that announcement this Tuesday. And the um, SAR, much like the rest, of China had already tightened existing restrictions last month as well. But despite uh, trade limitations between the two countries over the years, China had been Japan's biggest buyer of seafood from other Japanese prefectures. And it remains to see how this uh, discharge will affect the seafood industry throughout the region. No, it's different. Other nuclear waste won't come directly in contact with radioactive material. It's like drinking bottle drinking a bottle of toilet water versus uh, versus drinking a bottle of water that was dropped in the toilet South Korea is doing it too South Korea's seafood resell uh, sellers real as science fails to ease Fukushima fears more than 90% of South Koreans say they will reduce their seafood consumption due to radiation concerns as well 
Um, China, by volume, dumps more tritium, which is relatively harmless, but this water has contacted the exposed core, so there are worries of cesium, which is really bad being in the water. Japan says they have a new filter system which can eliminate the cesium, make the water more or less normal. Yeah, I don't eat fish, so this doesn't bother me at all. I don't give a shit. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, it was exposed to the core. Even treatment cannot remove all contaminants. So, multiple scientists have okayed this plan. China is just saying this because their relationship with Japan has been tattered lately. Um... It's also about South Pacific diplomacy as China has been speaking out for Pacific Island views who are to totally against these Japanese plans. I, the solution to pollution is dilution. I mean, that is literally that, okay, DuPont chemical. Like that, that's basically what that is. That is what's going on here. They're like, the ocean is massive, guys. It's fine. We can dump a little bit of radioactive matter and it'll be okay. Is what's going on. As far as I understand, dumping toxic pollutants into the ocean is a is a commonly shared value all around the world, but certainly both in China, South Korea, and Japan. Um, so uh, I don't know if this is like extra bad, but here, yeah, this is what I was looking at. It's pretty funny. After China enacted an extraordinary ban on all Japanese seafood, a Tokyo restaurant put up a sign specifically warning Chinese people that it in uses ingredients from Fukushima. The Chinese vlogger took offense and called the police. Shinjuku restaurant put up a sign saying all their food comes from Fukushima. This Chinese vlogger feels wronged and calls the police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course he put that sign up. Look at his hair, man. Oh my god. Frankie! Super! <laughs> Bro, that's not a that's not the boss, dude. That's a Yakuza boss. What the fuck? <laughs> That's a stand user. I love the Japanese police being like, no, 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 this is racist because it's allowed. <laughs> it's racist, but like, it's allowed, okay? This is so funny, dude. He's he's putting that up so Chinese visitors know it's Fukushima. Uh, it's it's Fukushima tainted, uh, uh radioactive uh, fish. I love this fun this video. <laughs> it says Chinese people in the first line. Yeah, it's probably like some kind of fucking protest uh, for, for Chinese tourists to be like, listen, Chinese people, if you're so afraid of the Fukushima water, like, let me tell you, it's fucking Fukushima uh, tainted fish here. After I saw that fucking hair, let me tell you, I immediately knew everything I needed to know. That motherfucker is trolling, okay? Get the hell out of here. Yeah, he says, maybe different racism tomorrow. <laughs> Listen, today, this is the kind of racism that you got. Maybe tomorrow, he's going to write something for the Koreans, okay? You never know what kind of new fun avenues that uh, this the shopkeeper might uh, engage in. It's so funny to see your two wolves battling it on your mind. One is the smelly weeb wolf. The other one is the CCP agent wolf. 
Yeah, there's no battle whatsoever. Hogs are uh, hogs in every nation. And I think it's quite funny that it's quite funny that these people are, are, are duking it out with one another. I'm, I'm just kicking back and enjoying it, my friend. As you guys know, I love racism. I am a big fan. Okay. It's, it's a fascinating phenomenon. Oh, now you come back. Now that I have. Hello? Kaya? Hello? Oh, you come back now smelling around, you harlot. Fake, phony. Um, she leaving. Um, like I said. I'm fascinated by it. So this is like a different kind. Uh, that I'm not used to experiencing watching on a daily basis. So it's awesome. <laughs> Dude, I love that. I love that so much. Were you ever stopped by police in Japan? Fuck no. What are they going to do, bro? I'm literally... I tower over them. What are they going to do? Tickle me? Are they going to use the people catchers? They were too afraid. <laughs> they were like, this is, a, this is the size of a man we haven't encountered here before. This is unique. What's going on here? Let's just avoid him. <laughs> they don't even have guns, dude. What are they going to do? You act like that until a Gundam puts you in cuffs. Yeah, they looked at me and they thought I was the giant of Kandahar. Exactly. <laughs> uh, okay, there's more. The vlogger insists that it's discrimination to make such a sign specifically aimed at Chinese people. The sign is not illegal, so police will not order the restaurant in order to take it down. Here's another victim of abusive Chinese phone calls, the Xiao Fox Village in Miyagi. It's an animal park that has nothing to do with nuclear power, but Chinese numbers are still flooding it. And calls calling staff idiots and telling them to die. <laughs> TEPCO and the Fukushima government has received thousands of calls from China. As Anna notes, Chinese nuclear plants have dumped water that is far more radioactive than the water being released in Fukushima. <laughs> I love this story. This is very, like, America-coded. On both sides. It's like doc, uh, uh, dumping toxic pollutants into the water. Uh, I love that. That's like very much, you know, that's something that every capitalist uh, nation does. Something that China does too. Um, I love. What is this? August 24, 2023, a date that will live in. Dude, this is effort posting to a degree that I am, uh, I am on or read all this. Japan's rulers insist the irradiated water is safe, yet. They haven't found a purely domestic solution to the problems it created. They adamantly refuse to allow use of the liquid in Japan, such as for irrigation in drought-hit regions, much less for drinking. <laughs> They're like, dude, dude, it's perfectly safe, but just like, you know, we're not going to use it. We're just going to dump it in the water. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I feel like, listen, I don't eat fish anyway, so. You know, tell us a bit more about where all of these worries are coming from in China. After all, Tokyo and the IAEA have both said that this is safe. 
Well, we're talking about 1.3 million cubic meters of wastewater being released into the Pacific Ocean starting this Thursday and over the next few decades. The wastewater has been treated, but TEPCO, the uh, plant operator, has failed to remove a radioactive substance called a tritium, as there's no such technology to do so yet. Instead, they've diluted it to such low levels that the IAEA calls the impact negligible. Japanese officials also point to other nuclear power countries such as France that releasing Wait. far more quantities uh, of this nuclear waste. Wait, so they, they just diluted it, so ultimately it's the same? They took out the worst isotopes. The only thing that was left is tritium, which is relatively less harmful. Tritium has a half-life of 12 years. My Japanese nuclear engineer friend told me that they purified the water before dumping it as China is overreacting. <laughs> I don't want my microplastics to taste funny for some nuclear water. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. Hey. It took many, many years and concerned, concerted efforts to get our microplastics to taste a certain way. Now that we've gotten used to the refined taste of microplastics, they're coming in and ruining it. They're making it spicy water. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. It's fucked up. I mean, look, the point is this. If you're dumping it in the water but not using it in like drought uh, in in drought areas, then, you know, that that spells trouble a little bit because you're still dumping toxic waste into the ocean. Obviously the uh the the response is always, well, it's fine, it'll go away in 12 years. And also, well, it's fine because there's a lot of it naturally in the water itself. And, well, it's a really big body of water, but, you know. Japan just announced today that they plan to release over a million tons of radioactive water into the... There's rad guy glows? Okay, dude, this guy has been radiated too much. Okay, look at his fucking... Look at the vibes he's pu putting out there. I'm sorry. If you look like a Funko Pop collector due to all the radiation poisoning that you withstood... It doesn't mean everyone else should get to your level of radiation poisoning. The sea this year. So, key thing there is, he just said a million tons of water. It could have been a billion tons or a trillion tons. What matters here is not how much water is being released, but the concentration of radioactive material in that water and how much radioactive material total that is being released. The concentration of radioactive material that they're going to be releasing into the environment is 1,500 becquerels per liter. And that is actually pretty low, which I'll explain later. The water they're referring to is from the Fukushima nuclear power plant disaster in 2011. And for 12 years now, workers have had to pump water through the ruins to prevent the debris from overheating and causing further damage. They then collected, filtered, and stored all of that contaminated water into 1,000 steel tanks crammed onto the Fukushima campus. Key thing there is they said, or he said, filtered. And that's really important. What they actually do here is they're pulling groundwater out of the fuel debris and then they take that uh, contaminated water that has all sorts of different contaminants in it like cesium and strontium they pass it through what's called the advanced liquid processing system that removes uh, a vast majority of those radioactive materials but it doesn't remove your tritium tritium is a isotope of hydrogen. So chemically, it behaves exactly the same way. When hydrogen is in water, it is that H. I can't trust this guy. This guy could tell me at the top of the hour there is no three minute arm break, and I'd be like, fuck no. Okay? No shot. There's definitely a three minute arm break. Now, of course, you can be like that guy and think that there's no three minute arm break if you're a subscriber who has subscribed for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. He has radiated glass behind him, dude. You can trust him. Yeah, that is just 
telling me I can't trust them. I'd much rather believe ice giants are real than this guy uh, telling me the truth about what's happening here. Okay? The truth about what's happening to you, however, is that the three-minute ad break is upon us. Which you can avoid if you get gifted a sub. If you're lucky, here's a three-minute ad break now. In the H2O. It's really hard to remove that H out of the H2O because it's going to chemically behave the same way. You can't remove water out of water. Which is now running out of space. The IAEA said that the release is safe. And the Fukushima operator... And the IAEA should be a good trusted source. They are the experts recognized internationally. It is said, and I quote, after treatment, levels of most radioactive particles meet national standard. So when he says most, what does not meet the national standard is those levels for tritium because they can't remove the tritium from the water. But what they are going to do is the water that they're going to be releasing into the environment is going to still be below the regulatory requirements. What they do is they mix it with seawater first before releasing it. That's how they get it down to that 1,500 becquerels per liter. These results aren't just coming from TEPCO or the Japanese government or even just the IAEA. It's coming from a whole host of countries. This long list of international laboratories is forming a group called the Interlaboratory Comparison. Countries that make up these laboratories are Korea, France, Switzerland, and the U.S., which really leaves no room for hiding anything. However, neighboring countries and local fishermen have voiced their concern. No China? No China? Question mark? So the question is, do you think this is safe or are we going to have a whole load more of these appearing this year? So one of the big reasons why this is such an issue is because of that communication with the public. I don't blame fishermen for being concerned about this contaminated water being released into the environment. It is safe, but it really does put a bad image on those fishermen in Japan and from neighboring countries. So really, this isn't a major pollution concern, but more of a public perception concern. And unfortunately, the media and videos like this really escalate that bad perception that people have of this release that's happening. This release should happen. It is safe, and this is the way that you release. By that same reasoning, couldn't you dump anything in the ocean? My friend, that is precisely the reasoning that every fucking mega corporation and state actor uses to dump anything in the ocean. Let me tell you something. It's not just the ocean either. They do it in currently your local water supply. Your rivers. That's why you always have to throw your car batteries in the water. It is safe. Okay? It's always safe. Tritium into the environment. You either release it into the water or you evaporate it into the air. Tritium, as I mentioned before in some of my videos, has a very low health hazard. It's actually released as a normal everyday practice from facilities around the world without having any effect on the environment. That's because tritium does not concentrate in the ecosystem like things like heavy metals and mercury. If it was easy to concentrate, we'd know how to remove it. The results of releasing this low level of radioactive material into the ocean is very minimal when it comes to the animal life. The amount of dose that is expected to be received by humans from this release is less than a hundredth of one dental x-ray. Now to put things into perspective, if you wanted to receive the same dose that you would from the naturally occurring radium in one Brazil nut, you would have to drink three and a half liters of that Fukushima water to get the same dose of radiation. So again, anytime you see the news putting out information like this, remember to put things into perspective. This guy could be the foremost authority on radiation. 
and I can't get myself to trust them at all. I'm sorry. So much so that I literally now think Brazil nuts are deadly poison and you shouldn't have it. This had the opposite effect. I now am terrified of water. I'm terrified of the Japanese water. I'm more terrified of fish than I was beforehand. And also I'm terrified of Brazilian nuts. Is this how Chud see Fauci? Maybe. <laughs> we are never getting nuclear energy as a country. Yeah, I am I am like uh openly a a Luddite with uh nuclear. Everyone gets mad at me for it, especially all you fucking nerds in this chat. I'm open to it, but I'm still scared. Okay? Open but from a distance every year but for some people negligible risk just doesn't mean no risk so when we're talking about nuclear waste of course there's always a quite a bit of fear and needless to say that the historically rocky relations between japan and its neighbors certainly uh, doesn't help in these situations nor does tepco's um, less than stellar uh, reputation this has though been a long time coming a plan that has been years in the making and the plant operator has also been running out of space and of options but the fact of the matter is uh, Tokyo has failed to fully convince all of its uh, neighbors of the safety of their plan. Yana, thank you for that. That's France 24's Yana Lee reporting from Beijing. I know nuclear Andes. Radiation from coal mine production is significantly worse than the toxic pollutants that are released by a nuclear power plant. Blah, 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 blah. I get it, dude. Shut up, okay? Okay. 